The focus on Wilfred and Didi. The occasion, his first appearance for the club, and it's live on EA TV. Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Number 24, Mohamed El Yunusi. Number 8, James Ward Prozel. Number 19, Musa Gilepo. Number 17, Stuart Armstrong. And number 9, Adam Armstrong. Good luck. Good game. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good game. Thanks a lot. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Right. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Davy De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Jesse Lingard in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And they kick off here. Won it back. Good looking attack launched by Ronaldo here. Oh, big opportunity. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. There's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. Taking on his old club and Stuart, different players react to that in different ways. Well, Derek, I always found it difficult playing against my old clubs, especially Arsenal. I just felt so strange. It might well be the same for him oh, today. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. piece of tackling oh a perfectly timed pass and De Gea absolutely brilliant goalkeeping well that was a magnificent save 
just how did he keep that out? No, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Can they stop it going in? What a performance! Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And over comes the corner. Giving it a try. Great defending. El Yunusi, Florent Mollet, and space for the cross. Good work to regain possession. Ndidi. Oh, fancy footwork. Has a go. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Jan Valéry is enjoying space. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Elianusi. Ward Prowse. And he takes it on. And De Gea, absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Genepo won it back and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack will it be sufficiently imaginative Ronaldo couldn't quite hang on well they can keep possession of it now Armstrong and he did well to cut it out well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, the midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. And unable to keep the ball. Armstrong. And space to exploit, maybe, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. No way through. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Ronaldo will be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ronaldo. He's in control of the situation. Scott McTominay. Well, possibilities in the centre. 
And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And they kick off here. So the ball moving again. United having already made a big first half statement. And using his strength to shield the ball. Cavani. Shaw. That's well blocked. Ronaldo. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And Ronaldo. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 14, Jesse Played over. A very effective clearance. Ronaldo. Strong play here. Cavani. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. This is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Here's a change for Manchester United. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Substitution for Southampton. Coming off the pitch. Armstrong. Number 17, Stuart. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Number 7, Shane Long. Substitution for Manchester. And he read it superbly. Coming off the pitch. 21. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Ronaldo untidy with the ball. It should be! Just couldn't get it through. Well, transfer news for Arsenal supporters. It appears they've got their man, Stuart. Well, at £30 million pounds or thereabouts, he represents good value for money. He's got a lot of skill. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Substitution for Southampton. Coming off the pitch. 
pitch. Number 24, Mohamed Elianusi. Coming onto the pitch, number 23, Nathan Teller. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 18, Bruno Fernandes. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Has a go, and no way through. Armstrong. Jan Valéry. Going well, and a decent delivery. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. The referee is given a corner. Can someone get on the end of this? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to. Live here on EA TV. It's Southampton taking on Hull City. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition and so do I. It should be a good game. And United have the corner. And over it comes. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Scott McTominay. Ronaldo. Committed challenge. Breaking at pace. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Wolves. Ronaldo lost it. Shane Long. Now what can they do from here? Takes on the shot. Making sure it didn't get past him. Well, as we approach full time in this one, Stuart, no escaping the conclusion that United are bossing this. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and cricket. Still possibilities. So deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Coming onto the pitch, number 27, Ibrahima Diallo. Delivering it. Well, it all counts for naught. Ronaldo. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ronaldo. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Defensive efficiency personified. Ronaldo. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And there it is, the full-time whistle, a victory for Manchester United. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.